In the previous episode, we eliminated Batania and began taking land from Vlandia. Wars were started with several other kingdoms at the same time. We took Tyal, destroying the Northern Empire. We peaced out with Asrai, but lost several fiefs to them, and Vlandia declared war again. Now again, I do Oh, jeez. You are so annoying, man. So freaking annoying. Yep, they snuck down there, they're, and they're going to take it too. I guarantee you they're going to take it before we can get there. No, they didn't start it yet. All right. And uh, how old is this kid? Eight years old. Okay, so they're, they're getting there. They still have 10 years to go, but... All right, let's get the kids set up for whatever. All right, we got a lot of really good upgrades. because These guys are already pretty high tier as it is, and we're just funneling XP into them, so... Yeah, almost everybody's upgraded. Let's drop these guys off so we don't have to keep carrying them around. Nope. Yeah, we can. Okay, sweet. All right, I don't want you in the garrison. Let's get you out. All right, we can do this one without attacking. And Asrai declared war again. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, this is this is going to be an easy one. There we go. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that might be an upgrade for someone. No, it wasn't. I forgot. I don't have the perk for the armor. It's just the weapons. All right, I'm going to pillage this. I want to reduce the buildings. I don't want to have to come back and deal with high-level buildings. I want to raise everything so that we don't have to deal with it. So Mechala Bay is being sieged again for like the 10th time. They're probably going to take it. All right, Sturgia is... They want peace with Sturgia, which is, again, I was really trying to avoid that if we can maybe push through and take a bunch of their stuff. But I think it's probably for the best because we're at war with two powerhouses over here. So Asurai is taken a lot of our land. Vlandia took a couple fiefs. Yeah, we're really struggling to hold land. It's so hard with the AI because they just don't do a good job. Sometimes they do, but 90% of the time they don't. And Vlandia wants peace. Why would we go to peace with Vlandia? Technically, they only have these three that we owned before. So I guess we could focus on Asurai kicking them out. So, all right, Sturgia, that's a for sure. That's fine. So we'll pass that one. I guess Vlandia is fine. We can retake them later, but we need to we need to reconsolidate and get um, get Asurai out of here. Oh, they don't want peace. Why not? Yeah, we can't we can't affect it even if we wanted to. There's too many people downvoting it. Well, if he doesn't want to get rid of it, I guess we're gonna go in and take some of his land. Now they're building too fast. We gotta save up. Ortizia is being sieged. That's not good at all. All right, let's try and finish the siege quickly. If we just get the siege engines. That's fine. Nope, they're still building new ones. Come on, dude. What are they shooting at? I mean, it's fine if it's graphical, but it seems like it's not just graphical because these guys are taking forever to go down. Oh, the wall. I can't even see the walls. The walls are somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know where the wall hit points. Are. Oh, there they are. So <laughs> the walls are in the river, apparently. <laughs> All right, whatever, dude. All right, we got the walls down anyways. Let's just finish this off. We'll go defend Ortiz. Right, we're just going to send this one. Oh, nice. They're going in one by one. Good spread. All right, the rain's going to hamper our archers, but I think this should be okay. That's why I wanted to switch to doing heavy infantry. They don't really get affected by the weather, whereas our archers would be. All right, this side pretty much collapsed. Yeah, we're not really taking casualties. This is good. We can continue this pace for a long time. It just slows it down when we have to build the siege engines, but, you know, it's better than going back to recruit new troops. All right, all done. Again, we're going to take all these down. Yeah, Siege Workshop will knock it down so we don't have to deal with that. Ortizia, actually, there's no way we get back there to defend Ortizia in time. We just have to let it fall, and then we'll have to go clean that out at some point. They took Othalane. We've got to take it back again. Oh, Dunglinus, we cannot let that fall. That's a big army, most likely, then. So that is the priority. Let's go save the day, hopefully. Yeah, 800 defenders. How big of an army do they have? There's no way they can do that. All right, that might actually tie them up. I feel pretty confident that that's not going to fall. Unless they bring another, like, thousand units. But I, I don't think they will do that. But either way, let's clear this out first. We just took this one. Yeah, see, this one, we don't have to wait to build any siege engines because we took everything down. So we're just going to... We're just going to... Uh, yeah, we're just going to send the... I, this is where I really miss the RTS camera mod for these stupid battles. Like, this is... We're going to end up with five, you know, five losses, and it's just going to be 10 minutes of time down the drain that we don't have. It's the AI for you. They're running back and forth. 
What are you guys doing? Come on, there's a ladder right here. Back here, back here. There we go. Up. Up, boys. Don't shoot my horse. They're getting smashed. Alright, we lost a single person. If we can consolidate again, and then... We, we just need to be able to get one good war. One good war against somebody where we can push them back. Isolate them and then take all their fiefs and then we just do that each time Let's do it again, I guess. Yeah, you don't get anything Ortigia is actually gonna go down right now. Yeah, it's actively being sieged. That means Jamaris might be opened up to attack Let's retake Remtoil and then we can head up to Dunglanus and help them out. Oh, they're actually No, they're not. They're just starving the garrison out. It looks like oh this one has nobody in it This place is desolate. All right, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. Come on, guys. The ladder's over here. Back. Back. Oh, nice. They're actually picking it up on the run. Yeah, they did take Ortizia. Damn. Asteroid's really striking out. Look at this. 1,000 units chasing a little army of 50. So stupid. Like, there's so many things you could be doing right now rather than chasing 50 units. All right, they're assaulting. We're going to help. 144 losses, but that's probably a lot of them on the garrison. 98 for the militia, yeah. So almost all the losses were from the militia, which is fine. Oops, that's what I meant. Let's go donate. They have literally no food here. Oh. So that's defended. Uh, we don't really have anywhere to put our points. So I don't know. that We literally have nowhere to put points. So we just leave it. Yeah, we can't allow them to take all this land. This is ridiculous, man. They're taking so much land. Look at how much they took. We had literally all this except for Sargo. Everything in here we honed. And then now we just lost it all. We gotta kick them out. They're just doing so much damage. And that's why, because they have 1600 units. Alright, they are sieging. We're gonna break in to do this one. 82 troops. And we're gonna clean them up with an auto resolve. If you're not there to clean up the first wave, you're gonna have a tough time. Oh, we can't donate. Crap. We still have a pretty good sized army though. I I want to push and take Ortizia back. We need to shore up our line over here. This has gotten way out of hand. I was trying to take out some more people, but what I should have done is just gone back to defend. That was maybe a, a mistake on my part. P are you kidding me? Oh, with the Vlandians. Okay, that's fine. So are we sieging anybody? No, we're not. Okay, so whatever. Peace of Vlandia so we can not lose all of our feasts to them as well. Now this one, I think we have to take the walls down. They've got some pretty healthy troops. That, they look like they're pretty high tier. All right, that's everything. I don't really care if it's night time. We just need to go because they're all over the place. We need to finish this and then get up there to defend whatever they're trying to take next. All right, we're not taking any losses. A keep battle for 20 troops? Hmm. I thought the cutoff was a little bit higher than that. All right, no big deal. Now, there was an army around here somewhere. I don't know where they're going off to. But let's cut them off. We'll cut their little empire in half. It'd be cool if they gave it to us, but they're not going to. Yeah, we already own too many. We got six. Well, that was pretty easy to catch. I thought she'd be faster than that. All right, that was a good battle. We got a lot of prisoners off of that. All right, they're going to take that. I was just about to go do that. I don't want to go on their territory because it's going to be hard to get down there to defend, but we can defend these much easier. So let's... Thractory. Who's sieging Thractory? Actually, we'll let them burn their troops on that. Let's go take Sargo. Maybe. Actually, let's go Vernon. Vernon would make more sense. They're sieging it. All right, sweet. Let's let them burn all their troops, and then we're going to immediately attack them. It would be nice if they took the fief, and then we can take it right back immediately. Because we're not at war with Landia right now, so... It's stupid that they teleport inside the, the fief now, though. Alright, we'll just take it. Take it back from them. Wait, wait, wait. Are they not going to go up the ladders? No, you guys need to go up the ladder. We don't have any siege engines. Alright, we're going to move some troops over and get some archers in here, because... Oh, okay. <laughs> we just got one shot in the neck. Wow. Okay, well. On the bright side, we get to speed up the, the battle. That's kind of fun. Alright, now we need to go find out where this guy ran off to. He had an army there. Alright, this guy's going to cause trouble up here. I, I can just tell. Let's go take him out. Or chase him for days and not catch him. Because eight's declared war. Lovely. Stop that. So we're going to get split in half again. Uh, Asteroids dealt with. We're just about maxed. Most of these guys are maxed out. I think that's Vlandia sieging that down, actually, unfortunately. 
At best, we can just kick them out. We can just keep focusing on Asurai, and then because 8's going to do what they do, we, there's no way I'm going all the way back there, because as soon as we get halfway through the map, Land is going to declare war, Sturge is going to declare war, we're just going to be back to square one, so we have to let them do the thing. They have to survive on their own. All right, let's take these back. They've been in their possession for far too long. All right, I see two ladders there. Let's make sure the ladders are going up on this side. It's no longer a game, it's a babysitting simulator, right? Like, oh, here we go, there's a ladder down. And the, <laughs> our units aren't even up here, man. What the hell is going on? This is so annoying. We should have a full group over here instead of trickling two people in at a time, and now they're gonna feed. All right, up the ladder. Maybe you can do something up there. You know what I could do, actually? I didn't think about this, but I could definitely get these guys set up. I can go to the top of the ladder and just start jumping off. Because you can't die from fall damage. You can only get injured, and then we can speed the game up every time. We're going to do it to ourselves this time. Almost. One more. <laughs> and then we can speed up the game. This is so painful, man. There we go. Dimitri the Lover. Damage Dimitri the Lover. Now we go with speed 5. Yeah, 10 times faster. Yay, keep battle. Alright, here we go. Maybe I'll just do that from now on, because we get 40% back after each siege. We don't need the HP. And then if we, you know, if we are doing that to ourselves, we can just speed the game up significantly, so. Alright, they've got Veron and Sargo, and then they're completely kicked out of this area. Let's go take Sargo, hopefully. Actually, what if we just right-click? I think we don't even have to bother with the boat. That'll speed it up slightly. Now, this time, we're going to have to build siege engines. All right, there goes Vlandia. They might be at war with Asteroid, it looks like. Marshals, what does that do? can't remember. Reduce the ruler clan influence by one? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, there we go. All right, so again, I'm going to try and make it inside and just start jumping off stuff. We'll take a little bit of damage, and then we'll just jump off the building so we can speed it up. Here, hit me, please. Hit me. Oh, don't even let me move. All right, that's fine. Oh, I forgot we don't have any athletic skills, so we can't outrun these guys very easily. Put our shield on our back so we don't get hit in the back. We're going on a mission, and we don't want to die to them, because that would be a mistake. But... <laughs> See you later, nerds. <laughs> now we can speed up the battle. Oh, man. Somebody's stuck in the wall. Lovely. There we go. Got it. So there's our goal. Actually, I think we don't have any more troops to upgrade. Uh, should we pillage? No, let's show mercy on this one. Uh, we do need to get some troops soon because we're pretty low. We're about 300 or 400 troops shy of, of max. There should be no more asteroid up here. So I feel pretty confident about going down there to defend. Pretty confident also. Oh, they just took a uh, freaking... Oh, we need to beat this guy. He's going to try and siege it down. Oh, we just we cut the line. Yeah, this is our thief, man. Get out of here. That guy's going to siege down Ortiz, I think. Hmm. No, not to us. So I would probably do that. Now, we do get 20% siege camp preparation speed. That's going to help a lot because we are doing a lot of these things. I haven't done this in a while, actually. Let's make sure these guys have all the points that they need. Is he mounted? Yeah, he is mounted, actually. So accuracy penalty while mounted is good. Troop wages while in a siege camp. That's really good. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Got the crossbow. I think that's pretty much it. We have a scout already. I guess in case he dies, we'll just do it. Eh, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. We can't use any of the other stuff anyways. All right, so one thing I'm trying to figure out is where that big army went. Or is this the army? Maybe this is the same one. We do have to be kind of careful because if they team up on us with two of these, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, though. So hopefully they go down and fight the Vlandian army that just went to their south. Is that Vlandia? No, it's Sturgia. Again, Sturgia. Yeah, we need to wipe Sturgia out because stopping to do this is just like when we were dealing with Batania in the Northern Empire. It's, it's really tedious. We need to just take them out. All right, that looks good. Time to go jump off the bridge. <laughs> All right, 360 no scope. Got him. <laughs> oh, wait. oh, is somebody stuck in the wall again? Dude, how many times are you going to stick in the wall? We didn't really lose hardly anybody there, so that's good. Asurai is kicked out again. We just have to, once we go back to war with Landia, we got to kick them out again from here. 
what we cannot allow to happen is Sturgia to resurge and establish another foothold. We need to go up there and, and deal with that. So, Tubilis, we either go down here and, and start attacking Asurai, or we go up there and, and try and really hammer out some more fiefs from, from Sturgia. It's going to suck because I'm sure they'll come back up here and take some more. Let's see if they're at war with... They're still at war with Landia, so maybe they'll fight each other instead of us, which would be nice. It'll also give us a chance to regen some troops, so why don't we go do that, actually? I think that'd be a good idea. Or not. Yeah, he's going to do that. All right, so we're staying to fight, and then we'll we'll deal with it. We don't want this stupid castle, man. This thing is horrible. <laughs> what a horrible castle. All right, so we're going to give it right back. So Garantor, give it away. Don't care who gets it. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. So what we're going to do is... I think they started the assault. Yep, yeah, they started the assault. We're going to break in and do it. So we'll have to give up 70 troops. But then we're going to have a huge advantage here. Yeah. Massive advantage. Enough. So we just wiped out a big army. Enough. I well, two big armies. Hopefully that shuts them down. Yeah, we still got people that are upgrading. So we'll leave all the troop, the, uh, the loot to upgrade. Now, we could easily go down here and start taking their fiefs. But again, if we're not going to be here to defend them, it doesn't do us any good. So... Let's go... Oh, yeah, Uthlam's gonna fall. Epinosa's gonna fall. This is... Here we go. Here we go again. Let's get up to max troops and let's go north. Uh, we need to switch this. Yeah, let's just go train militia in case this thing ever gets sieged again. Oh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I meant the dungeon. Oh, look at all those nobles. Alright, we'll sell these. It's another 18 grand. And then let's top off our troops. I think we might have hit Clan Tier 6. Yeah, we did. I was going to say our party size just got a lot bigger. So we hit Clan Tier 6. So now we need a lot more troops, which is good, though. We'll, we can handle more troops. There are 500 garrison here. We're going to head north. We can go to Rote and Epicrotia. So we don't want to take all the troops here, but we'll take a decent amount. Let's take maybe like 50 of these. Oh, we'll take a big chunk from Rote. All right, we're recruiting all the troops that we can, so we don't have to drain our garrison completely, but we're going to have to drain somewhat. And then Epicrotia is next, and then we're going to right into Sturgeon territory to try and shut them out. All right, Mechalibia is being sieged by what? I can't see it. Oh, that's a big army. Can we get there? Oh, yeah, we're going to get there in time. All right, actually, we don't even need to do that. We can just stomp them right here. We don't need to break in. All right, we saved the day. I give up. <laughs> I give up. You win today, you dog. Ah, the shame of it. <laughs> I yield. You're the dog. Bliat. Get out of here. All right, let's see. We can probably make these guys shields. No, we don't really need to. I was going to say we can go back and grab more. Let's just go as fast as we can. Take as many fiefs as we can. All right, let's let them go around. I don't want them going back in their town. No, oh, that guy snuck in anyways. All right, yeah. See, if we break the big towns, it's going to make a big difference. We got to break them... All right, no peace deal with Sturgia for a long time, please. Just let us beat him. All right, here we go. Right, Epinosa is being sieged. All right, this looks pretty good. We're not really close to starving anything out. We just got to go. They got 800 troops, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we have a, a significant quality advantage. Okay, Dimitri the Lover. We got <laughs> we got a little bit of prisoners here. We can take... Yeah, we, we're not using bandit units, so I guess we'll take this one. It doesn't really matter, though. Actually, before we go, let's upgrade... Okay, this one's actually pretty easy. Yeah, I we don't need to do anything fancy. We'll just let him let him do the thing. Archer! Yeah, they'll scatter around. That's fine. So I feel pretty good about this. Let's try and go jump off a, a wall or something. Might be hard to get in there though. Actually, yeah, it's all flat out there. All right, can we get hit? Can we get hit by somebody? Just a little bit. They don't have high walls here, so we need to have not this much HP. Oh, somebody hit us in the neck. Man, we were getting hit for, for like two damage, and then somebody smashes us for 41. That's funny. Yeah, they're going to go through and smash everybody now. I mean, they're they're putting up a fight, but we're still... I mean, we got 26 losses, like big whoop. They got reinforcements, but they're going to get stomped as well. Even worse. Look at that. 29 losses. This is just a slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Of course, there's a keep battle. Let's send that. Send them in. For the towns, let's show mercy. I don't want to ruin the whole thing. I'd like to see them survive. 
I don't know if they will, but you know, she's not mounted, but it doesn't matter. Let's get out of here and see where this army goes. I have a feeling they're going to try and take Omor, but maybe not. They're going to take Uthalem. This guy's going to go for Mechlevea, so we'll take him out as soon as he stops. Yeah. Oh, they're going to give it to us. What the hell do we want with this stupid beef? I mean, we get plus five troops every time we do it, so this is plus 25 to our army size. I'm not going to complain with it. That's for sure. All right, we'll at least take the food. All right, let's go back to Amor and get it set up. Why are we getting another thief? I don't want Tubilis. That's way down there. We can't defend that. All right, we'll give back Tubilis. Yeah, we don't want that. So what we're going to do... Oh, this place is already maxed. Wow, what a good thief. This was actually a really good pickup for us. And we can hire troops here, so that helps. Dungeon looks pretty good. We'll add a few more. We have a lot, so many nobles. Holy crap. All right, now what about the garrison? Seven units. That's not a good garrison. All right, what's getting sieged now? Erzanor? Yeah, Kazade are going to come in and take. Oh, wow. We had all three of these feasts. They took all three of them back already. Yeah, this going back and forth stuff is not going to work. We need to push as hard as we can and just take everything and knock them out. Yeah, if we can go to peace with Kazates, I think that's a good thing, because then we wouldn't lose Erzener. We'll deal with them later. So, oh, they want... We gotta abstain. It's still gonna go through. That's good. All right, here we go. Oh, there's the other ladder. I couldn't even see it. All right, man. I'm leading from the front today with no weapon. <laughs> All right, let's take some shots. I want to speed this up. Come on, boys. Maybe one or two more. All right, there we go. Okay, we got stuck on the freaking ledge. So there we go. I, I don't really want to die for these though, because there's a chance that we could die from if we go down to an enemy shot. That would not be good. All right, we're going to pillage this thing. And then let's go to Takor, and then we don't have to worry about going back. All right, they're going to give us that castle as well. We're going to give it back because we don't need it. There we go. Give it back. Like I said, we don't need the castle. It's not going to help us at all. We will take a town if we can get it though. Nice, another one. We can just launch right off the bat. All right, this one, we should be able to just jump off the ladder safely. This is a pretty tall ladder. If only RTS camera wasn't broken, man. This would save so much time. But, all right, we'll make do with what we got. Oh, don't you do that. We'll do it ourselves, don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to knock us off the ladder, we'll jump. Oh, seriously? Oh. oh, come on, game. All right, we'll pillage. All right, Asurai, they want peace. Yeah, we don't want to be at war with Asurai. It does us no good. And they're about to take a fief here, so this is actually a really good peace deal for us. Very, very good peace deal for us. Oh, nice. We are 1v1 with Sturgia. Let's just completely wipe them off the map. Yeah, we'll take you out. 40 losses. These ones are going to speed up the campaign. We'll, we'll definitely do. And we even get troops back, so it's free real estate. Wait, did they just give it to us? They did. We don't want it. Alright, they're running to the castle. We don't want them in there, but if they insist... Yeah, they're just not going to leave, so we'll have to fight it with them in there. Alright, here we go. Okay, this one, we're just going to... Yeah, they don't have siege engines. We're just going to assault. We got to speed this up. You never know how much time you have before they start spamming the peace votes. We're just going to do it as fast as we can. All right, can you hit us? You're not going to hit us. We got to go up to the... Oh, <laughs> they're scared of the man with the shield and no weapon. They're like, get out of here. Run while you can. Save your children and run. <laughs> What the heck are they doing? All right, we can stuff. Yeah, we can stuff the ladder. Oh, we're actually taking losses, but it's not too bad. I'm not long for this cruel world. <laughs> oh, we're actually losing a lot of people. Yeah, we took some losses here compared to most of what we've been doing, but it's still less than 60. So, I mean, oh great, somebody's stuck in the wall. All right, we gotta back out. Here we go. So we got it. And again, we'll pillage because we'll probably not 
be able to hold it once we go to war with Landy again. So, all right, I do not want them in that castle. There we go. He's out. Actually, we might be able to get this. It's a race. Oh, we got it. Nice. So we don't have to deal with the siege engine. All right, this one's got some tall walls, so we'll definitely do that. Oh, don't do it. I mean, we were going to do that to ourselves anyways, but... Oh, we can't get up. They're doing it too fast. Well, for once, it's not us doing it. They're doing it to us. They knocked this thing off so fast. Look at that. They're already on it. How does he... Wow, that's really fast. So if he does it again, we're going to jump before he pushes us. Yeah, we, we die on our own terms, not yours. <laughs> but there we go. So we didn't take that many losses this time. That's reasonable. 17 is good. Again, stuck, somebody stuck in the wall, man. This has been like 10 in a row. Everybody's getting stuck in the wall. Alright, we got it. At least they're not getting kills on the... When, when we have to back out. That, that makes me happy. That makes it all acceptable. Now, they are starting to siege these down. Let's go clear that out. Although I doubt they'd be able to do it. Right, we have, what, 100? No, 72. They might be able to do it. Enough. Oh, they might actually... Nope, they, need, they don't need help. Alright, so I don't care about the raiding. Alright, that army might actually get up to sieging something down, so let's take them out. If we can catch them. Alright, good. No peace deals yet. This is going to be hard. They're all going to run inside that town. Actually, maybe they won't. Oh, nice. There's nobody in. This is like the perfect opportunity. They're not all here. We'll probably have to go back and retake something because that little army that ran out is probably going to go back and try and take one of our castles that we just took. But I'd rather trade the town for the castle because this is really hard for them to take in the future. All right, here we go. Let's take out of our check. This is going to be a pretty big blow to them. What the hell are they doing, man? All right, I'll just give, give the charge command. I don't know what the AI is doing, man. Crazy. Oh. You're gonna die. Oh, Willabar. Xania is getting a bunch of bunch of hits. I'm a porcupine. Alright, let's see if we can find a spot to jump off of so we can speed this up. This should be a slaughter. Yeah, we're already 45 kills, only one death. Ooh, they're like tossing bodies around here. Let me at him. Let me at him. Pick him in the balls. We should be able to get up the stairs. Oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> Free at last. We can we can go take her life. No, nope, we can't because it's an invisible wall. Lovely. This side, maybe? Nope. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. If they don't let me go off right here where the wall's broken, that's going to be pretty... There you go. Okay. Finally, we can speed it up. So pretty good. That's I'd say that's pretty good results. We are gonna have to send troops in, unfortunately, but thanks for your help. Yeah, only one loss on that. I kind of want to see where that army went before I commit to going uh, on the peninsula. Oh, did they take him out? They might have just taken him out, actually. Yeah, they might have just knocked him out. All right, let's keep moving forward then. None of these are really relevant. Oh, I guess we're making him our melee. Oh boy, there it is. All right, they're actually going to give us Varcheg, so that's that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm, we're going to ignore Vlandia right now and just try and wipe out Sturgia. If we go back to defend, I think it's a mistake. I think we just need to push forward and just take out as much as we can. So this town, we can take everything off, put it on train militia, and just hope for the best. It's got militia ground. Yeah, we should be okay. The prosperity is decent. All right, Rebel and then Ustakol. We got to just try and knock them out. Uh, hopefully, they don't take anything in between in the meantime. There's so many small parties around here. Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. This is their their final big stronghold. And also, this, this feat probably hasn't been touched the entire game. It's probably completely maxed out. Varchek is being sieged. She, they're going to take it very easily. Crap, dude. Do we go back and defend it? Yeah, we have to. We go back and defend it, I think. The problem is, it is one of our fiefs. If we lose it, we may not get it back. And it does help us out quite a bit. Oh, somebody stomped him. That's it. Yep, Varchek's not being sieged. All right, sweet. All right, we want to try and get this with as few of these people inside the fief as possible. But they're just not going away. So can we go over here and let them get out? 
All right, there we go. There's only three. That's acceptable. Okay, let's commit to it this time. All right, no peace deal with Sturgio, please. Oh, Pan cannot. Yeah, they're taking some serious fiefs now. This is really bad. This is really bad. Damn it. Man. Well, if we can knock out Sturgia, it's worth it because then we can just turn our focus. But man, it's going to be this is going to be really rough. They're going to take a lot of it. The nice thing is it's going to burn a lot of their military, but I don't care who owns Baron. All right, no peace, no peace, no peace. So one wall down, two walls down. All right, we're ready to go. We could starve out the garrison, but it's not worth it. We need to just go. This is one of those ones where we have to. I'm going to actually leave this one. I, I don't think this is a good idea to do separately. Let's try and fight a good battle here. All right, we need to get our archers off a of scatter. If they stay on scatter, the AI is just going to take over and, and you can't control them at all. So let's do that. Let's get a nice little column formation going. Soldiers! All right, so we need to reposition this. Yeah, this is going to be a costly battle or or not. It depends. I'm going to take it slow. This is one of those costly. But if you just run in, this will be for sure a costly battle. But I'm going to try and do this so that we have a better chance. All right, group two up here. Let's actually move our archers up too so that they're not wasting ammunition on very long shots that don't do any damage. We'll get the other group on shield wall since they're just going to be soaking up arrows. Yeah, see, we're getting kills. We're not taking any casualties. We can sustain that for a little while. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait them. And then we're just going to melt right into our formation and let them do it. But that, that opens up the archers in the back. They can get some shots on these guys. There we go. Yeah, they're getting easy flanking shots now, I think. Actually, I think we... Oh, they're retreating. Yeah, let's just charge in. The other side should be fine now. This is a really good battle for us. 135 to two losses. So we're going to clean them out. Oh, man. The firing squad. All right, let's see if we can get in here and block for these guys a little bit. All right, this is actually really bad. Yeah, that's a really good flank for them. Damn. We're taking heavy casualties now. Right, let's get everybody in. Yeah, they have too much volume. We need to get melee troops down there, but they're clogging the, the path. All right, let's sandwich them like a pancake. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can speed through this. We still have a big advantage when it comes to kills, so that's that's fine. We're doing just fine. Yeah, we got reinforcements coming in. They'll stream in and destroy them all. We're, we're still only 89 losses, which is pretty good considering this is their final legit fief. I did not expect that at all. That was a very big battle. A good battle, though. Yeah, let's show mercy in case they give it to us. Which they might. might drop these guys off. 